As fans, we all know what we want from the takeover if it goes through. But what about the people buying the club? What will they be getting if the purchase of Newcastle United does go through? Let's take a look. They'll be getting a club with huge potential. We saw flashes of it in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, you run this club correctly and it can compete with the best. Despite what anyone else wants to tell us, Newcastle United is one of the biggest clubs in England. But it's rarely had the ownership to match. The club has a proud history. We're proud of it as fans. But it's a travesty that the last trophy won was over 50 years ago. A sleeping giant is a phrase often mentioned when talking about Newcastle United. And there is some truth in that. If an owner wants to massage their ego and be adored, then simply make Newcastle a great team again. Fans will forgive an awful lot, as long as there's ambition. No one's demanding trophies, but fans do demand a club that progresses and a team that tries. They'll also be getting a neglected training facility and academy. It's an absolute stain on Ashley's tenure that this facility still houses a Premier League team and hasn't been upgraded properly. In an age where sports science and marginal gains are everything, at Newcastle we've seen players in paddling pools and in wheelie bins. If reports are to be believed, the new owners already have huge plans for this side of the club and it can't come soon enough. They're going to be getting a club with the best shirts. Now, I may be biased, of course, but the black and white stripes have always looked special to me. Different to every other club we come up against regularly. It's not red or blue like most clubs, it's black and white, and many players, past and present, have loved playing for that shirt. It's unique in the Premier League. Fans are rightly proud of it. And the new owner should maximise our devotion to that shirt by ensuring we get the best kit manufacturers on board too. Adidas, please. They're going to also be getting a fantastic, practically unique city centre stadium that dominates the skyline. It, it will, of course, require a lot of TLC, but it's a ground that on its day can produce an atmosphere as good as anywhere else in the world. St James's Park was, for many years, one of the best stadiums in the country, if not Europe, but unfortunately it was just another area of the club that Mike Ashley neglected and left to rot, quite literally. The Gallagher roof is a disgrace, the concourse areas and toilets need a massive upgrade, and really in 2020, a first-class stadium should be able to provide fans with free Wi-Fi. And of course, get rid of all those horrible, horrible Sports Direct advertising boards. And of course, they're going to be getting a large, passionate fan base who are crying out for some hope. The Toon Army exists all around the world. Fans that stick with the team through thick, thin and so thin you can't even see anything with the naked eye. Fans just want to turn up to St James's Park or tune in and watch on TV and watch a team that gives some excitement, some enjoyment and for that team to be an escape from reality, from real life for a couple of hours each Saturday. It's not a lot to ask. It's clear that our prospective new owners recognise what they're getting mm -hmm. as a quote from them appeared in a George Colkin piece last week. It said this, Newcastle United are the last great uncut diamond in the Premier League. It just needs cutting and polishing. The diamond has been there all along, but nobody has wanted to spend the time, effort and money to show that jewel in the best light. As spot on as it is poetic. Some people arrive at Newcastle United and just simply get it. And if they do get the club, then Newcastle stays a part of them forever. Just look at the likes of Gavin Peacock, Tino Espria, Rob Lee, Warren Barton, Keegan himself. They got Newcastle. They understood how amazing the club is and how amazing the club can be if it's invested in properly. What we need is an owner who gets Newcastle in the same way as those players did and is prepared to back that belief with the money needed. And that's something we've never had. Let's hope this week we finally get the news we all want to hear. Cheers. Cheers.